Hi folks, my name is Ermit in the forest. This is my unboxing of Restricted Area. This is an action role-playing game, a Diablo clone that takes place in the near future, in the year 2083, when the uh, world became a place inhabited by all kinds of mutants, robots and uh, people live in huge cities with massive fog everywhere. Uh, this world is co uh, controlled by seven mega corporations and uh, well you can uh, choose from four characters a mercenary, a Yakuza fighter, a female hacker and female uh, a user of psionic powers. Uh, the story isn't much interesting here although it takes place in the post-apocalyptic world so it uh, had some promise but actually it's all about uh, killing and fighting well let's take a look at a box art here it is featuring of course isometric view Let's flip the front cover and take a look at some pictures from the game and text about the game. Here are the pictures. Good. Restricted area. Okay. Here's some more. Okay. Let's turn the box around and see the back side for some more text and pictures from the game okay now let's open the box and see what is inside Of course there is the game itself, it comes on three CDs, disc 1, disc 2, disc 3. And then there is the game manual called user's guide, user guide, sorry. Okay. First of all there are shortcut keys, so the keyboard layout and then the table of contents here it continues so about 40 pages now something about the story and the start some picture installing of the game system requirements troubleshooting and technical support now we get to the history of the game world here is the timeline up to the year 2083 when the game takes place Now choosing a character, here is the mercenary. This is the user of psionics. Yakuza fighter is here and here is the hacker. So you can choose one of those game interface. A tutorial for the first mission no, role playing system
uh, experience and advancing through the game. Inventory items. Improving weapons, cyberware. What else is here? Uh, something about multiplayer that is possible here. Something about implants, possibly. And other objects, trading. Oh, something about the corporations, so uh, enhancing the storytelling. Well, that's Salaton, another corporation. Yeah, so this is. These are stories about the various mega corporations that rule the game world. Okay, and on the last pages there are credits. People who made this game. Technical support. Now some warnings and license. Okay. Good. And that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.